Hello there, I'm Becca Scott, and this is How to Play Painter's Corner, where we're painting each of the seven monster figures from Horrified Universal Monsters from Ravensburger. Be sure and check out all things Horrified on How to Play and Game the Game right here on Geek and & Sundry. And now, our very own Knox Burf has a brush with the Bride of Frankenstein. Get it, because her hair. Thanks, Becca. Like you said, we've got the Bride of Frankenstein. And this hair-raising miniature is going to offer us all kinds of challenges. Let's get started. Before we begin painting, it's helpful to do some prep work. We're going to gather some simple tools and we're going to use them to clean up the imperfections in the model that can happen during the manufacturing process. We're going to use an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to clean off the mold lines. It's fairly common to have these and it's going to be easy to remove with just a little bit of work. You're also going to want a hobby file and an emery board. We're going to use these to smooth out surfaces to create a perfect finish before we begin our priming process. Now that our miniature has been prepped, we're ready to prime. To do so, we're going to start with a basic black undercoat. Now I'm using an airbrush to do this, but don't be intimidated if you don't have an airbrush. You can do this with an aerosol spray can that you can get from a hobby store or from online. Once you have the black undercoat completed, what we're going to do is we're going to use a white ink. And that white ink is going to be sprayed in one direction over the black undercoat. And it's going to create what's called a zenithal highlight. And what that's going to do is it's going to simulate light and shadow, depth and nuance on our miniature. With our priming complete, we're now ready to begin base coating the Bride of Frankenstein. Her gossamer robes are going to be painted using a technique called wet blending. Wet blending is a technique that requires you to use paint on the miniature while wet and blending it into another color. We're going to begin with a blue tone, and this blue tone is going to be placed on the miniature in thin coats. We're then going to slowly build into a white, and we're going to allow the wet paint on the miniature to blend together before allowing each of the layers to dry. We're then going to move on to the skin tones. Much like our friend Frankenstein, we're going to be using a sickly green color. Now each of the hands and the face are going to require soft features, which means that we're going to want to take our time and build up a slow glaze, allowing each layer to dry before continuing on. We're now ready to move on to the fine details for the Bride of Frankenstein. Her hair is going to be painted using a dark gray that transitions into a dark black. We're going to be using the same wet blending technique that we used on the dress. However, we're going to be very conscious of where we're going to place our white stripes. When we're ready for those, we're going to paint them in with a stark white. We're then going to use a thin gray to build in some shadows and another layer of white to create some highlight. Once that's complete, we're going to move on to the eyes. To give her a ghastly and otherworldly look, we're going to use multiple thin layers of a green glaze to create a glowing effect. And with that, the Bride of Frankenstein is ready for the gaming table. And that is the Bride of Frankenstein, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, we'll be painting the rest of these monsters right here on Geek and & Sundry. And if you want to see some other Universal Monsters in action, tune in to Game the Game, coming to you on October 3rd. And be sure to check out Horrified Universal Monsters, available now at Amazon, Target, Barnes & Noble, and your local hobby store. I'm Knox Burf, and I'll see you next time.